Philadelphia News, Team of My Heart. You've heard Joel Embiid compare rookie Jared McCain to Tyrese Maxey, but can McCain live up to the hype? In this video, we're breaking down everything you need to know about McCain's game, his deadly shooting, and how he fits into Nick Nurse's system. Will McCain rise to the occasion under Philly's pressure or crumble like so many before him? Stay tuned for all the latest Sixers news and find out if McCain can help this team chase a championship. Subscribe for exclusive Sixers news you won't want to miss. Jared McCain is the name everyone should keep an eye on. You know, when you hear Joel Embiid, the cornerstone of the 76ers and one of the most dominant forces in the league, start giving his stamp of approval, you have to pay attention. Especially when he starts throwing out comparisons to Tyrese Maxey, a rising star in his own right. The Sixers took a chance on McCain, an undersized guard from Duke, but if there's one thing Philly fans know, it's that this team thrives on uncovering hidden gems. And McCain, well, he's looking like one already. Here's the thing, McCain's numbers in college might not have jumped off the page at first, but he finished strong, showing just how lethal he can be. He averaged 14.3 points per game, pulled down 5 rebounds, and threw in a few assists for good measure. That's solid for a rookie, but what really stands out is his shooting. 41% from 3 on almost 6 attempts per game? That's no fluke, especially at Duke, where every shot's contested, and the pressure is constant. This kid can flat-out shoot the rock. And what did Embiid say? He's seen that same kind of energy and confidence that Maxi brought into camp when he first arrived in Philly. It's no secret that the Sixers are looking for more firepower to surround their MVP big man. And McCain's ability to stretch the floor with his shooting could be a game-changer. Embiid even mentioned how McCain's personality shines through, saying, he seems to always be smiling for no reason. That joy, that energy, it's infectious. It's the kind of spark this team can use as they gear up for another season of chasing a championship. But Embiid's not one to get carried away too quickly. He made it clear that McCain has more to prove before anyone should start drawing conclusions. Now, as someone who's seen how Sixers news unfolds, you understand how crucial it is for this team to find the right pieces. Joel Embiid has already had his fair share of battles, injuries, and playoff heartbreaks. He knows what it takes to get to the top, and when he sees potential in a player like McCain, it's worth noting. It's not just about the stats, though. It's about how McCain approaches the game. Embiid emphasized McCain's toughness and competitiveness, two traits that can't be taught. You either have it, or you don't. And McCain has it. Tyrese Maxey's rapid growth into one of the league's most exciting young guards wasn't by accident. He's a product of hard work, dedication, and a relentless attitude. McCain seems to be cut from the same cloth, and that's why Embiid's comparison is so intriguing. Sure, McCain may still be finding his way, but with Embiid watching over him, guiding him, and seeing similarities between McCain and Maxey, you can't help but wonder what's next for this rookie. What McCain does next could very well dictate how fast he'll rise in the rotation. Embiid's leadership in this moment is important. He's not just throwing out compliments for the sake of it. He's seen players come and go, and he's had his share of teammates who didn't quite fit the mold. But when he talks about McCain, there's a sense of cautious optimism. He doesn't want to put too much pressure on the rookie, but at the same time, he's making it clear that the potential is there. It's up to McCain to take that and run with it, just like Maxi did. So, you've seen how Joel Embiid has praised Jared McCain, and you can't help but wonder, how does a rookie like McCain handle the weight of those expectations? Think about it, coming into the league with the pressure of being compared to Tyrese Maxey, a fan favorite who skyrocketed to stardom. It's not just about skill at that point, it's about mentality. How do you, as a player, keep your focus and handle that kind of spotlight? That's exactly what McCain is facing right now. And it's no easy feat, especially in a city like Philly, where every move is under the microscope, and fans are relentless in their passion for Sixers news. McCain is stepping into an environment where the Sixers are expected to contend every year. You know what the stakes are. Embiid is in his prime, and the team is constantly looking for ways to build a championship roster around him. The margin for error is thin. McCain's ability to fit into this system, to contribute as both a shooter and an energy player, could be crucial for the Sixers' success this season. And let's face it, you've seen how much spacing can impact this team. With someone like Embiid dominating the paint, shooters like McCain become essential. It's not just about knocking down shots, it's about stretching the defense, giving Embiid the room to operate, and creating opportunities for others like Maxi and Tobias Harris. Now, you're probably thinking, can McCain deliver under pressure? Can he be the kind of player that steps up when the game's on the line? That's the big question, isn't it? Because it's one thing to shoot well in practice or summer league, but when it's game time and the Wells Fargo Center is roaring, how will McCain respond? You've seen players crumble under that kind of pressure, but you've also seen guys like Maxi thrive. So, where will McCain fall on that spectrum? 
Joel Embiid certainly believes in McCain's potential, but it's clear that McCain still has a long way to go before solidifying his spot. Embiid's cautious in his praise, mentioning that McCain has the tools, but still needs to prove himself. You can see why Embiid would take that stance. The NBA is a league where potential doesn't always translate to success, and being a great college player doesn't guarantee anything at the pro level. McCain's journey, or better yet, his climb, is just beginning, and it's how he responds to these early tests that will determine his future. If you're a Sixers fan, you're probably keeping your eyes locked on McCain during these preseason games. You want to see if he can handle the speed, the physicality, and the mental grind of the NBA. And honestly, aren't you curious to see if he has that same spark Maxi had when he first burst onto the scene? Maxi wasn't just talented, he had the kind of infectious energy that made you root for him from the jump. Does McCain have that same appeal? Will he bring the same fire, that same relentless drive, that makes you think, this kid is going to be special? The Sixers need players who can step up in the big moments. We've seen it time and time again, when the playoffs roll around, it's those role players who can knock down shots, make the extra pass, or play tough defense that often make the difference between advancing or going home early. Is McCain one of those players? Could he be the guy that Nick Nurse looks to off the bench for an instant impact, someone who brings energy, toughness, and sharp shooting when the team needs it most? And then there's the chemistry factor. Embiid mentioned McCain's personality, how he's always smiling, how he brings a positive vibe. That matters more than people realize. Teams that win championships aren't just about talent, they're about cohesion. McCain's ability to fit in with the team, to understand his role, and to build relationships with guys like Embiid and Maxi could be just as important as his ability to knock down threes. After all, basketball is a team sport, and the Sixers need everyone on the same page if they're going to make a deep run this year. So, what do you think? Does McCain have what it takes to be a crucial piece in the Sixers' rotation this season? Are you buying into the hype after hearing Embiid's comparison to Maxi, or are you waiting to see more before you get too excited? And now, with all eyes on McCain, you've got to wonder, how will he adapt to Nick Nurse's system? You've seen how Nurse operates. He's a coach who values versatility, a guy who's always pushing his players to step outside their comfort zones. Will McCain embrace that challenge? Nurse isn't the type to hand out minutes based on potential alone. You know he's looking for players who can contribute on both ends of the floor. Can McCain rise to that level? Can he handle the defensive pressure while still knocking down those threes with the confidence he showed at Duke? You know that Philly isn't just any basketball town. This city craves winners. The fans, you included, demand effort, grit, and heart every single night. McCain's got the skill set, sure, but does he have the mindset to survive and thrive in an environment like this? You've seen so many players come through the city who couldn't handle the weight of expectation. But then there are those who take that pressure and turn it into fuel. The kind of fuel that pushes them to outperform, to exceed expectations, and to win the hearts of Sixers fans everywhere. Where does McCain fit into that? Will he rise like Maxi did and carve out a key role in this team's success? You've also got to ask yourself, what does McCain need to do to earn your trust as a fan? It's easy to get excited when a player shows flashes of brilliance, but consistency is key. You know that. Can he bring it every night? Can he step up when the team needs him the most? Or will he be another player who shows promise but doesn't quite put it all together? You want to believe in him because the Sixers need that next wave of young talent to complement Embiid and Maxi. But it's on McCain to prove that he's more than just potential. You want to see him excel, but you're waiting for that moment where he shows you he's ready for the big time. And let's not forget, this team is on a mission. With Embiid leading the charge and Maxi continuing his rise, the Sixers are chasing a title. That's the ultimate goal, and every piece of the puzzle matters. McCain has a chance to be part of that. But it's not guaranteed. He'll have to earn it through his work ethic, his energy, and his ability to contribute when it counts. You've seen what happens when this team falls short in the playoffs, and you know how frustrating it is. Can McCain be one of those role players who steps up when the lights are brightest? So, as the season kicks off and you start seeing more of McCain, the real question becomes, are you ready to trust this rookie to make an impact? Will he become a fan favorite like Maxi, or will he fade into the background? There's only one way to find out. But you've got to stay tuned, right? Because every game, every shot, every moment could be a glimpse into the future of this team. And if you want to be there for every step of McCain's climb, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and stay locked in on all things Sixers news. You don't want to miss a second of the action this season. Whether McCain becomes the next big thing or just another role player, you'll want to be here to see how it all unfolds. Let's see if this rookie has what it takes to win over Philly.